What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy that you are all here today. Today is a super exciting day. Today is the first installment of The Dapper Diaries. Now, this is going to be a very new series on the channel and I cannot wait to share it with you. I have been wanting to do a series like this on my channel for years and this year it is time to make it happen. And what this series is going to be is going to be from the very beginning of the creative process to the very end of actually going to Dapper Day. I'm talking about creating, styling outfits, actually physically sewing and making the outfits, trying them on, testing hair and makeup, seeing if they work together, actually going and finding supplies, you name it. It is going to be documented and I cannot wait to share it with you guys because I know that so many of you love these sort of videos love DIYs, love being creative, and I am so jazzed to be able to finally share this with you. So let's talk a little bit first about Dapper Day. Then we're going to talk about kind of what you can expect with this series. And then we're going to talk a little bit about some of the creative process that has already started and what that looks like. So let's talk Dapper Day. So what is Dapper Day and why are we going to be talking so much about it over the next few months? Well, Dapper Day is a fan created event. This event was created back in 2011 by a bunch of fans who wanted to celebrate the history of Disneyland by wearing their Sunday best that they would wear in the 1950s or 1960s to the park to celebrate their love of Disney and their love of vintage fashion. And I find this event to be such a fun and interesting event. I've had the opportunity to go one time and I'm so excited that we're gonna get to go again this year. So this event is two times per year, both in Disneyland and in Disney World. So they have a spring and a fall. And what's interesting is that the event is a two day event. So there's two two day events per year per world and land per, per theme park, per theme park. And what happens is on Saturday, it's gonna be at one park and Sunday it will be at a different park. It will be in Disneyland, one day will be in Disney California Adventure. And then for Disney World upcoming in April, the first day, the Saturday, the 29th of April, they're gonna be at Epcot and then the 30th, we will all be at Magic Kingdom. So they go and, and they switch between parks. Another interesting thing that happens in Disneyland specifically, not in Disney World, is they have a Dapper Day Expo. At this expo, there is everything vintage. There are vendor booths. There are live musicians that play really amazing like jazz music and swing music so you can swing dance and have the best time. Those expo tickets are separated, ticketed events for Dapper Day. Dapper Day is just a fan created event so all you'll need is to be able to get into the parks. So just be aware of that. It's a very interesting event because although it's not endorsed by Disney, put on by Disney, it's not discouraged or anything along those lines. So it's really interesting. So what that means is that they actually create some real Disney merchandise that they sell that says fine and dandy. You Usually it's like a pin or something along those lines and it says fine and dandy and then it has the year and those are sold in the parks during Dapper Day which is really fun and also because it's fan inspired there's not really anything special that goes on in the parks which is really interesting so when we were there back in 2018 when we were <laughs> dressed up for Dapper Day at Magic Kingdom it was so funny because 80% of the people that were there and probably even more than that 90% had no idea that Dapper Day was even a thing but then there were these 10% of people. We were all dressed super, super fancy. And we were all saying happy, happy Dapper Day, you know, all the things as people were walking by. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun. So all the regular parks,
park events that happen during the day are going to continue to happen. And there's not really anything special that happens for Dapper Day other than you dress up and get to hang out with other people who are hardcore Disney fans or who know about this event, which is so so much fun. One of the things that I am hoping to attend this year, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but they do have unofficial meetups where everyone gets a group photo. We'll kind of see if that happens. Again, since it's not sponsored by Disney, they can't have a meetup legally. It's like not, um, having meetups in the parks is not something that is allowed. That's why you'll see like vloggers won't be able to do meetups at Disney because of those sorts of restrictions. And so we'll kind of see how that goes. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to, at a minimum, get some really fun, uh, really fun photos with other people and I'm really hoping that we can be part of that full meetup photo. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of a general synopsis of the event. Basically what it is, is everyone dresses in really fun vintage style that emulates either a Disney character, it emulates a ride, something about Disney in some ways, or it's just a straight up vintage style outfit, which we also are so here for. And you go to the parks and have an amazing day. That's really, truly all it is. And it is just so much fun. So back in 2018, I was able to attend the event. Now, the event for me then was much different because when I went to that event or when I wanted to go to that event, it was a last minute decision. So. I seriously just ordered a dress off of Amazon and I ordered Jessie's outfit off of Amazon and we dressed as Tiana and Naveen as frogs because that was the only thing that I could come up with on a quick basis that was going to work for us. And I have to say, although it was really fun and I loved it and I thought we looked great, I just really felt as someone who sews and someone who loves creative things like that, that I just really fell short. And I, this is my redemption story. This is like an underdog story where I'm really bad at sports and then all of a sudden I like, some sort of miracle happens and then I win the Super Bowl or something, okay? <laughs> You know, something along those lines. That's what's going to happen this time. I am not going to allow myself to disappoint myself again for another dapper day. It's just not going to happen. And let me tell you, with the amount of prep and thought and hard work that's going to go into this, there's no way. Well, I mean, maybe there's... <laughs> Maybe there's a way that it might get messed up. <laughs> Knock on wood. Hopefully it's going to go very well. That's my, that's my hope and dream. So what does this mean for the Dapper Diaries? So you may be wondering, like, what is this going to look like? So it's not going to be like a sit down video like this. Um, it's definitely not going to be that way. We've got a lot of work to do. Both of us have a lot of work to do. And so what it's really going to be is it's going to be a lot of vlogs. So every two weeks, there will be another installment of the Dapper Diaries. And it's similar to the list that I listed off earlier in the video but we're gonna start here. We're doing the first introduction video to talk a little bit about Dapper Day. And then the next video, we're gonna start working on mood boards. We're gonna start researching vintage style outfits. We're going to start looking at what type of patterns we can get, how we feel about those patterns. Are they my skill level? Um, because I've sewn my whole life, but I do have a lot of limitations when it comes to that. So I wanna be very cautious. And also, we are going to start working on what we're going to start actually sketching in the next video, what we want those outfits to look like, which I'm so very excited to be able to do. And then we are going to be doing a search for supplies. We're going to go to some local supply stores. Ideally, I would really, really love to be able to obtain fabric locally here in Alaska. However, we are extremely limited on the amount and what type of fabrics we can get here in Anchorage, Alaska. We only have like three fabric stores and those fabric stores are very limited. Most of them are very focused on quilting. So we may have some challenges there. If we can't find supplies, y'all, we are going online, okay? Which is gonna be a challenge in and of itself to try to figure out if these colors are gonna match what we are looking for, etc. So we're gonna be doing that. 
then we are going to be actually making the outfit that's going to be a diy video we're going to talk about it look at it see what it see what see what the outfits are going to look like we're going to have a full accessories <laughs> a full accessories like haul video which i'm very excited about so we're going to talk we're going to talk bags we're going to talk shoes we're going to talk alternative shoes because there's going to be a lot of walking and i'm not going to do that in heels we're going to talk we're going to talk about bags we're going to talk about everything you can think of outside of the main outfit we're doing a full haul who knows we may have undergarments in there i don't even know we're going to find out that may be an is that an accessory anyway it's going to be quite the video and then we're going to be testing out hair and makeup we're going to be doing different vintage styles playing with my hair playing with my makeup seeing what's going to work and what's not i'm definitely going to be needing your opinions on these videos and what you're thinking as far as this goes because it's going to be a long process and we've got time to refine it and i really want to be able to get that redemption story we're going to win the super bowl or the world cup or the hockey game thing or whatever we're going to do it we're going to do it together and i'm so jazzed about it and then we're going to Dapper Day and we're going to vlog both days. My friend Lindsay is going to be going with me and so she will be there as well. She doesn't want to dress during Dapper Day so um, it's just going to be, be me dressed in a ridiculous outfit and then Lindsay in normal clothing. <laughs> Unless we can convince her, y'all, can we convince her? Leave a comment down below. I would love to get her in like a fancy dress or something. That'd be so fun. And then I would love to do like a full recap of the whole experience of Dapper Day. Like, let's talk about it. What was it like? What would I have changed? What should I have done with my outfits? Because I'm hoping that this series can be something that you guys can look back on or I can look back on and we can learn from what happened. Maybe do some tweaks in the outfit, tweaks of what we brought with us because maybe it wasn't enough or maybe it was too much. And kind of go from there. So that is what you will be able to expect over the next several months. And so now let's talk a little bit about inspiration. So the first day, the first day was a little bit difficult for me um, because I just didn't really resonate with anything that was going on. So it is going to be the Flower and Garden Festival and I think that everyone's gonna go with like spring theme, flower theme, those sorts of things, but it just didn't speak to me. And so when you think flower and garden, you think like Bambi, you think, I think of the topiaries, right? So it's like Winnie the Pooh, Peter Pan, um, the Seven Dwarves, you know, those sorts of things, um, Anna Elsa and Nothing really, just nothing really spoke to me. I know that there's like a Miss Piggy and Kermit, but I thought that that might be just like a little bit too literal because Miss Piggy is always glam, like always looking amazing, always looking fabulous. And I really, like honestly, I wanted a challenge. I wanted something difficult. And so I have oddly settled on <laughs> for Epcot. Toy Story. Now, I know it's not spring. It's not Epcot even, <laughs> but there is a Buzz Lightyear topiary y'all. So we're going with it. Okay. So we're going to go with a Toy Story inspired look. Now I will say because we are staying uh, on Disney property, we are going to be able to go to extra magic hours at Hollywood Studios. And so I did want to go in to Hollywood Studios to do a little photo shoot in Toy Story Land with my Toy Story outfit. So I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to make it happen. So I think that Toy Story is going to be very, very fun. So we're going to have to come up with something that's going to go along with Toy Story. I really do not want to focus on any of the main characters. I want to be a, an obscure side character. That is my goal because again, I'm looking for a challenge and I'm looking for some way to make some sort of statement with this look. So we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Next, Next, the next one is Magic Kingdom. So Magic Kingdom was really interesting for me. I thought really long and hard about this because there's so many things that I love deeply at Magic Kingdom. I, I mean, number one, the people mover, I'm obsessed, but that was like, that was a very challenging idea. And then I love the country bears that also kind of crossed my mind. I'm like, ooh, country bears, that would be kind of fun. 
And I also obviously love the Little Mermaid. There's a big Little Mermaid section there. We'd have some really amazing photo opportunities in with the daddy statue, with you name it. But then I got to really thinking, I'm like, okay, how often am I gonna go get to go to both Magic Kingdom and Epcot on Dapper Day? And I thought, you know what? It's Cindy's Park. It's Cindy's Park. But I didn't want it to be just Cinderella. Um, if you've seen my channel before, you guys know this. I am obsessed with the pink dress scene with all the little mice and all the little bluebirds making the dress, the pink dress. And so I think I wanna try to create something that is an homage to that scene. Not Cinderella, but the entire scene, including the mice, including the bluebirds, you name it. I have a vision. We will see if that vision is gonna come to life. Be honest, I'm a little bit nervous and I would love to know. So, so given those two circumstances, Epcot Flower and Garden and also Magic Kingdom, I would love to know what you guys think. What, what character would you do? What outfit would you do? Do you know? And if you do, please let me know down in the comments down below. Also, I would love for this to be a celebration for all of us. So if you're going to Dapper Day, I would love to know. I'd love to be able to meet up with you and say hello. And not only that, if you're not able to go and if you've made retro outfits or done retro Disney bounds or those sorts of things, please send me a photo. I would love to include it here in the Dapper Diaries so we can all celebrate this really fun, interesting, retro adventure that we are all gonna go on over the next few months. In the next video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the inspo boards. So I'm going to be showing you, I'm working right now, I've actually been uh, recording some footage of me putting together a lot of these collages that have all of the, like the color inspiration of the different characters that I like and the and the scene and and those sorts of things and then also some snippets of some different pieces and parts of the outfit that I think I might be leaning towards. We'll kind of see as time goes on, but I'm always interested to hear what you have to say and I'm so very excited to be able to share the inspiration boards and kind of the plan and path that we're all gonna go on moving forward. I'm so excited that we get to share this journey together. I think that we're gonna have so much fun. I'm hoping to keep all of my social medias updated with information on what's going on with the outfits, the process, etc. So if you're not friends with me over there, I will link my Instagram and TikTok down below. I'd love to be able to talk to you guys about this as the process continues in the interim between those two week periods. Let's sign off. XOXO Dapper Diaries. Ah!